Mercury was retrograde for basically all of August, and I want to talk about two really significant Mercury retrograde blunders that we saw. The first is the Ice Spice and Cleotrapa. The second is this wedding dress incident with Rayleigh, who was accused of stealing the wedding dress. So Cleotrapa went on tour with Ice Spice for the month of August. Mercury was retrograde the entire time. Now, on this tour, she made Cleo carry her bags in the rain in front of her fans. She They ate without her. They had her waiting on a tour bus for hours. They had her get her own hotel room after she told her everything would be taken care of. It was the whole clusterfuck of broken promises. One of the implications of Mercury retrograde is that people are going to say things that they don't really mean. And that includes telling you that you won't have to pay for anything on tour. And then when you get there, surprise, expenses that you didn't have budget. After Cleo confronted Ice Spice about the initial bag issue, and it was made very clear that her concerns were not going to be heard, Cleo made the very wise decision to shut her mouth and not share her concerns until after the tour was over, until after Mercury Station Direct. So she waited, Mercury Station Direct, and then she shared this text message with Ice Spice laying out all of the issues that she had. She she waited until Mercury was direct to share her story time and tell her testimony about her experience with Ice Spice. If Cleotrapa didn't wait until Mercury Station Direct and she shared all of her concerns while she was still on tour, they would have been misinterpreted and the narrative would have been twisted to make Cleo look like she was the one who was being difficult. By waiting until Mercury went direct, she was able to properly expose Ice Spice for her little bait-and-switch bullshit, and now pretty much everyone is siding with Cleo because they're actually getting the facts and not just reading about the drama through tabloid headlines. Now, this situation is very, very messy. For those who don't know, the designer of this wedding dress posted a TikTok claiming that this woman, Rayleigh, tried to steal the wedding dress without paying for it. The designer of the dress even set up a GoFundMe to recoup the cost of the dress, but the GoFundMe fundraiser was double the cost of the wedding dress. Now, the people who saw the designer's video about Rayleigh, they went to her business page and tanked her reviews because they took action without having both sides of the story. They acted without thinking. Mercury retrograde. Once Mercury Station Direct, Rayleigh came forward and told her side of the story. In her side of the story, Rayleigh shared that they had an agreed-upon delivery date that the designer missed. The dress did not come until two days before her wedding, and it was asymmetrical, misaligned. It had features that were not in the original design that they had agreed upon, and she had to get an entirely new dress to replace this faulty, horrible design. Because she was dealing with the stress of planning her wedding and having family in town for the wedding, she told this person, I will deal with this after my wedding is over. Of course, the designer tried to spin the story as if she just blocked her and planned on never sorting anything out, but in reality, this girl was trying to get married, and she didn't want to be stressing about some ugly-ass dress that was late and was not the design they agreed upon. It wasn't until Mercury Station Direct that we got the full story with receipts. This girl brought the evidence, unlike the designer, who was just all, all hearsay. And a lot of people had to go and apologize to this girl for attacking her on social media, for intentionally leaving bad reviews in order to tank her business. This is a lesson for everyone that, A, you really shouldn't be harassing anyone on the internet or trying to tank their business off of a story that you heard from the internet that is just not moral, but especially not while Mercury is retrograde because it is very likely that you do not have all the information and there is something missing from this story. This is also a lesson to not plan your wedding for when Mercury is stationed retrograde. You could do everything in your power to plan your wedding meticulously down to every last detail, and someone else could still fuck it up for you, causing you additional stress, causing you to scramble and make last minute decisions on things that you wanted to prepare months in advance. For those who are interested, I do offer wedding astrology services so that you can pick the best day for your wedding to avoid a shit show like this.